right, so I split this up into like a second quick uh, uh, haul video. Um, try to look around the room real quick before I start and see if there's anything else that I need to throw in here. It looks like I'm pretty good. I may have some other doodads, but nothing really. Eh, okay. So, anyway, first off, let's look at this. Um, this is the mini comic collection. Now, I remember having the mini comics as a kid for the He Man. And it's like the little, you know, they're, they're like the size of the um, instructions out of like the. Uh, Take two again. All right, so I'm going to break this off into a second uh, haul video since there's, I did find a bunch more stuff. Um, but yeah, so first thing we look at is the He-Man uh, mini comic collection. I didn't see what publisher made this. Oh, Dark Horse put this out. Sweet. Dark Horse, good looking out, guys. Um, but uh, yeah, these mini comics were like, you know, pack-ins with the first figures. And I had no idea. I and mean, this thing is huge. I don't know how much it weighs. Oh. Speaking of how much it weighs, I bet it's more than five pounds. Let's find out. Let's let's weigh this thing on my scale here real quick. And it is four pounds and thirteen ounces of a book of mini comics. And it's nice slick paper. Did a really good job on this. I'll just flip through it real quick. But um, if you're a fan of mini comics, I was kind of hoping for like multi-volume trade paperbacks, which I guess they could still do. But this is just like. One and done. Everything's in there. Blown up a little bit larger than originally. So yeah, I just got this another day. So that's totally awesome. I'll have to set this down. Oh, well, I got a bunch of, you know, I have gotten a bunch of books. Um, I got the Ultimate Visual History Back to the Future. I have the Ghostbusters. And I got one more. I got three books in lately. There's a Dark Crystal book as well. So all kinds of books. All kinds of Marvel Legends, too. We're not going to talk about those. Let's look at this stuff here first. I wasn't going to get her. This is the Injustice um, Harley by um, SH Fig Arts. But I've just been so much in love with like the SH Fig Arts fig uh, figures in general lately. Um, I got the Darth Maul over there. and Stormtrooper and stuff. But uh, Alright, let's go with the take three. Alright guys, so I decided to go ahead and do a, um, uh, like a second part uh, haul real quick. Uh, but I got this uh, He-Man Master Universe mini comic collection uh, based on the mini comics that were released with the first figures. I don't know if they put the ones in there with the uh, classics. I haven't got that far uh, looking at it, just kind of flip through it. But as you can see, like the art's all blown up. It's really cool. Shows a bunch of oddities in here that you're probably going to see if you ever look at the... Uh, uh, toy line and stuff, you'll see her stuff like the blonde Tila, which in the cartoons and stuff she was redheaded, and so is the toy. Um, there is a, he's in here near the front somewhere, there's a f totally red, there's a good pick of it too, totally red Beast Man, which is one of the um, exclusives coming up for the um, Power Con in June of 2016, which I think they've already pre sold out. I think they're probably something at the show. I'm not entirely sure. I think they may have been sold for attendees and stuff. But yeah, it's just, you know, there's a lot of different variations of figures like like the comic two pack Worman. That's where he came from. Mini comics. So if you guys well, I don't know. I'll maybe I'll review this whole thing later. But yeah, we'll get sucked in if I don't stop right now. But then I also got and it's not even open yet, the Back to the Future visual guide. I got this the uh, um week of uh, Back to the Future Day. So that was kinda cool. Um and let's see. Also got the SH Fig Arts uh, Injustice uh, Harley Quinn, which I was not going to get, but I, she really warmed up to me. I ordered it, then I canceled it, and then James, like I mentioned in the last video, had it. And was like he wanted to get rid of it, and I was like, okay, man, I'll take it. I, I definitely want it. So, and yeah, she's pretty cool. She has a bunch of hands and faces and stuff, and really cool sculpt. A lot of articulation. We'll have to do a review on her at some other point. Alright, so these three loose guys here, I did not get all three of them, but I've had the Guy King and the Getter Robo for a while. And I got these because uh, way back when I was a kid, my cousin Harold had, and then eventually gave, I'm looking for one right now, the uh, original three and three quarter inch Shogun Warrior figures. Which, of course, now that I'm looking, I don't see it. I think it might be behind this stuff. Yeah, I got a Mazinger back here, it looks like. Ugh. Yeah, stretch. Oh, man. Yeah, so. I had these guys when I was a kid. 
And I've been trying to find them, but you keep on finding, I keep on finding them all beat up and rusted and torn up and everything. And this guy's not perfect. He has a little chip out of his chest right there, but this far back or so, I mean, I know what it is and it looks looks pretty good. So I've been trying to find them in that 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 condition, but they're not really cheap anymore. So I started getting these because they're like you know more detailed, larger, more articulated representations of basically the same characters. So yeah, so I just got. Uh, Mazen Kaiser here, and I, I'm or, and I'm looking for the uh, Mazinger. I'd be coming in. Um, I think it's Mazinger or Great Mazinger. I can't remember which version I got, but anyway, it's like the one like I just showed you, but done in Rebel Tech style. So once you get that one in, I think those are the main four that I had and and everything. So once I get the that one in, then I'm good with that set. And I'm kind of rebuilding some toy hood nostalgia here. Okay. Speaking of big robots, this is the Unite Warriors, something Japanese in between there. Um, UWEX for exclusive, Decepticons Dark Commander Grand Scourge, which I wish I had a window box, but it doesn't, but um, it's an okay looking figure. It has a crazy huge sword and everything. It's, it's Scourge, it's Transformers, it's Japanese exclusive. That's all I can say about that. I think it's cool. Um, I'm not going to keep it. Uh, I'll probably sell it at the um, November 14th um, SoCal Comics uh, Force for Kids put on by Toy Stars coming up here. So if you guys see this before November 14th, 2015, some of this stuff will be available for sale. Speaking of available for sale, I only got one of these. So these guys aren't. This is the Ultron, the Hulk, which is the movie body with a new head, which they really jacked with his eyebrows. So I'll probably take his eyebrows off and then repaint him in. And then like a semi-transparent vision, which they oversprayed white, which I don't know why they even... Why don't they just make it a pearlescent white figure instead of going through the trouble of doing a uh, transparent and then you paint over it. It's just... I don't know. A lot of the toy companies have been doing a lot of stupid stuff lately. <laughs> but that was their vision of the vision right here on the back. You can see his eyebrows look a little bit meaner here on the back. So I'm going to go for that look. And the sculpting's there if you look at it. They just screw up the paint. Alright, so anyway, like I was saying, speaking of sales, I don't think I'm going to keep these guys. They are, they're huge. I mean, this is a big uh, 4 foot by 5 foot or 3 foot by 4 foot, whatever size it is, desk. And this barely fits on there. Um, it is a 1-6 scale Dusty. Um, <laughs> Batman animated series Batmobile. And I'm going to attempt... Just swing one around to show you the back side as well, or front side, however you look at it. And we're almost there. We go. So, yeah. See, so it's, it's that Batmobile from the animated series. You can fit a uh, two figures in there. A Batman with his cape will, will fit in there with a Robin. Um, the front headlights light up. The tail lights, and I think the uh, turbo, uh, whatever it is, the jet engine in the back will light up. Also, the interior has like a dim blue light that lights up has a detailed interior and the cockpit like slides open. I think the wheels are all rubberized. Yeah, just uh, does not include batteries. But um, yeah, pretty cool and I might keep one if I don't sell them, sell them but I got no room for these guys. Uh, yeah, so there we go. There's another quick haul video, sort of. Um, so just like you did before, comment down here and give me a like and subscribe and uh, keep on playing with your toys. I do, even the ones that don't even fit in my room anymore. So, thanks again, guys.